In this video, we're going to see how to draw secondary beams in ETABs. Okay, so this is our uh, panel, and say I want a secondary beam here, and a secondary beam here, and three secondary beams here. Okay, so let's for draw the first secondary beam. To draw the secondary beam, we'll go to draw secondary beam options, which is available here, or you can go from draw, click on draw, then go to uh, draw beam column brace objects from there you can go to quick draw secondary beams and 3d okay so let's just click on that now if your secondary beam is a part of the lateral lateral load resisting system then you will uh, give the moment release continuous and if it's not a part of lateral uh, load resisting system then it will be pinned okay so i'm using continuous then the spacing you can choose spacing in two different methods uh, you can use max spacing or number of beams so i'm choosing number of beams then i'm going to take number of beams to be one because i only want one beam here like that so it's ready then i'm going to click here and as you can see our secondary beam is drawn here then i want my secondary beam here but the orientation is going to be different so i'll just change the orientation here we'll choose parallel to y or r then as you can see the orientation is now changed and again i'll click on here so our secondary beam has been drawn as well now for the three secondary beams which will be here i am going to change the number of beams to three and then i'm going to choose parallel to x or t then if i just click here as you can see three secondary beams have been drawn here okay so that is how you draw secondary beams in etabs i hope this video was helpful for you if you found this video helpful please like share and don't forget to subscribe you have if you haven't already and thank you very much for watching